So what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Quest Text coming back at you once again. And this was a subscriber, um, not a subscriber request, but we were discussing it in the comment section of my latest video. They brought up Lomachenko. And I'm, because see, I got to figure out how to say this because we have a lot of people who get overly emotional when you mention Lomachenko. They feel like you're being racist or they feel like you're picking on Lomachenko or Okay, so let's let's dial this in. Um what my thoughts are on the Lomachenko versus Mikey Garcia fight. Lomachenko and Mikey Garcia. <sighs> Here's a comparison. Marcos Antonio Barrera versus Prince Nassim Hamed. Now does anybody know? Um, the story behind that fight. Anyone? 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 Lomachenko fans? Okay. No? Barrera fans? No? Okay, so let's go into it. So, Marcos Antonio Barrera was given literally no chance, zero chance to beat um, Prince Nassim Hamed. Why? Because Prince Nassim Hamed was knocking people out. He was devastatingly athletic, powerful. His reflexes were supernatural before he fought Barrera. Um, he was considered this unstoppable force in boxing. And here is this little old Marcos Antonio Barrera, a guy who's standard, straight up and down, no special effects, had a wicked left hook, had wicked body shots, right? But he really wasn't anything flashy, but he was effective. He was effective because he fought behind a jab. He was effective because he stayed balanced. He knew the distance and counter punching. He could, um, he was a very good, Marcos Antonio Barrera was very good at processing his opponents. I think that's something that goes amiss about Barrera, Barrera's career and is a shame um, because he's one of the top three Mexican fighters I, I love of all time. Um, he had wars with Eric Toribre Morales. Uh, those were excellent fight, three excellent fights. They were just born to fight each other. But Barrera was an excellent, excellent student of the game. And here comes this guy who seems like he can't be touched. Almost on Roy Jones Jr.-esque type of status. Who... Uh, is flashy, showboaty, jokes around in the ring, threw his hands up when his opponents were throwing shots at him and would literally dance around, just dance around his opponents, right? Um, was deadly with any hand, right? Um, th does this sound familiar to, to, to Lomachenko fans? Um, does this sound familiar to Barrero fans? Oh, uh, okay. So... Going into this fight between Barrera and, and, and um, Prince Nassim, no one gave Barrera a shot. Well, if you go to YouTube, you know, I might leave the link in the description box of this video so people can watch. If you go to the, it's on YouTube. If you watch that fight, Barrera outclassed and beat the dog shit out of Prince Nassim Hamed. Okay, this wasn't Prince Nassim Ahmed who was weather beaten. This wasn't Prince Nassim Ahmed who was, um, you know, uh, had had come off of extreme losses or anything like that. This was this was top tier. Prince Nassim Ahmed. And Barretta beat the dog shit out of him. And did he do it flashy? No. He went in there and he showed Prince Nassim Hamed who's the boss. He went in there, he threw volume punching, he threw punches, he kept him at bay with the jab. He kept him control and under and 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 contained with the jab, which I keep telling you is Vasily Lomachenko's biggest problem. If you get him off of his feet with a jab, you can do a lot of work with the jab. If you can control his tempo, he's done. If when he hops in, you throw a punch, not at, his, not at where his head is, where his head is going to be, he's going to get floored, okay? His last few fights, he's getting touched more and more and more. 
Okay, he got floored in his last fight with a flash knockdown. If he gets floored against Mikey Garcia, his ass is not getting up. And if he does get up, Mikey will put him back down permanently. And I just keep trying to tell people, there's a reason Bob Arum does not want the Mikey Garcia fight. Okay? The reasons are per- very personal for both parties. Mike, why do you think Mikey wants Lomachenko? Because of the fact that Bob Arum stole many years of Mikey Garcia's career from him. He wants to beat the hell, the living dog shit out of Lomachenko. Because it's personal for Garcia. If you go to any of the interviews and you, whenever he talks about Bob Arum, whenever he talks about Vasily Lomachenko, it's personal. The Garcias, they know they want Vasily Lomachenko. They crave a fight with Vasily Lomachenko. You know why? Because they want to expose. It's not about Lomachenko. It, Lomachenko is unfortunately the unfortunate byproduct of this situation. It's about destroying Bob Arum. And when these two men fight, and they will fight, I don't want anybody coming around talking that sleazy, well, at least Vasily Lomachenko fought champion after champion. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Because Vasily Lomachenko, if he fights Mikey Garcia, that will be the effective end of Vasily Lomachenko. Okay? Just like it was the end of Marcos Antonio Barrera. Supposedly, when he was going to be fighting Prince Nassim Ahmed. And it effectively became the other way around. You never heard from Prince Nassim Ahmed again. After he took that embarrassing destruction at the hands of a basic Mexican fighter, a basic straight up and one two Mexican fighter, came in there and outclassed him with boxing education. Not flash, dash, angles, and speed and all that. He came in there and showed you what fu- decent fundamentals, strong fundamentals. Let me not even disrespect, but I don't like that. Strong boxing fundamentals can do for you. There's a reason why every opponent t- says to you after fighting Mikey Garcia, they couldn't get their timing down. They just couldn't get it. There's a reason, people. He doesn't need to be the fastest. He doesn't need to be the strongest. He's pinpoint accurate. And the man understands distance. And when he processes his opponents, there is no coming back from it. He beats the dog shit out of you. Sound familiar? Oh, Marcos Antonio Barrera used to do that a lot too. Eric Morales used to do that a lot too. All the really great fighters who understood... The education of boxing did that. I've been on the record constantly telling people left and right. Lomachenko is on that Roy Jones shit. He has no defense. Everything is relying upon his reflexes and his athleticism. But when you fight a fighter who understands timing and distance and can actually implement an offense and defensive game plan, you are fucked. Lomachenko is fucked if he gets in the ring with Mikey Garcia. No, you can no Maschenko all you want. You can talk all that shit. You can, you can laugh and joke about Guillermo Rigondeaux. You can talk about anything you want. He's getting his ass handed to him. He fight Mikey. Period. Remember, you heard it here first. Quest X Boxing News and Entertainment. Hit the like button and subscribe. You heard it here first. Lomachenko hits the deck. And he doesn't get back up. And if he does get back up, Mikey will make sure he, he puts him down permanently. It's your boy. I'm out. Peace.